Hi Darcy, I'm making this video as I mentioned in my email to show you kind of how to add uh, links and such when you want to create a, a post with a, a link to a, an article that you found. Um, I've done that many times, I do that many times. In fact, I suggest that you do that regularly. This posts is your company news page as I've discussed before, I think, with you. Uh, that, that you can do just that kind of thing. Put share articles and all of that kind of stuff with your website visitors. So the easy way to do that is when you come into your web or your post rather, you're editing your post, you create the the title as you've done here it looks like and say you want this much text right there to be the link. You would click, uh, make sure I'm on the visual side of things here, let me try that again. Um, so you click that and you click here that little looks like a, a paper clip but it's an insert edit link uh, option so right here you would put the the address of the article that you're linking to I usually copy and paste things uh, I usually also suggest you click this to open a link in a new window so it doesn't navigate away from your website and people can click back and forth between the tabs to stay uh, to go back to your website this is a title if you wanted to, to do something different like say you were putting an image in here uh, you could title that image and or title make the link title uh, different than the text that I highlighted you could type whatever you want in there and then that will be the the uh, become the link actually so then you just click add link and and boom it, it'll update and then of course you come over here and you update and this will be a link and just do it once here just so you see how it works here uh, I'm not sure what this is going to be but uh, I'll take it out here again quick, but that way you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I, I'm sure you've seen it before anyway. So that text becomes highlighted. You can see how it changes colors when you hover over it. Uh, that becomes the link then when you click update and publish that. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, wait a minute here. Let's show the kitchen sink here and go back. There, now the, tape, the link's gone. So the same thing applies if you were doing a picture. Uh, say you wanted the picture to appear just after that, another picture. If I go here and just grab a picture, uh, over here are your suggestions for, are your um, options for settings. You can center it left, right, center or have none which usually it depends where it will end up where you ever you have your cursor link type you don't usually need to change that because it's usually you're, if you're doing a picture you can just leave that alone this is the link that that picture will actually open up to but I'm going to leave that for now and alone and here you can pick the size that you want that image to be so if I insert that image into the post but I want to make this picture actually a link you click and you do the same basic thing here whatever that link you copied and pasted into it uh, link to you can actually do it cop, paste that link in here and then click update and it'll make the picture of an active hyperlink to go to the article that you're um, you're wanting to highlight <clears throat> in your post so that's really all there is to it to creating the link here like I said it's this insert edit link button right here within your edit you can do this on the, the pages or the posts. Um, you, should, you know, they look the same, and all these options are the same as well. And if you want to, uh, the other way I could have removed that link was to highlight it and click remove link. Um, so that's that's it. Basically, it's not difficult. I uh, hope this helps you. If you got any questions, I, of course, am available. Give me a call or e shoot me a message and we'll... We can do some of this to finish up, uh, you know, if you have time during the day, sometime to meet, we can sit on the phone, I can answer questions, go over whatever. I, I hate to see this drag out too long. I want to get this going for you so to make it work. So get in touch with me and let me know if next week will work as well. I just sent you an email about that. So like I say, let me know. Thank you very much. Talk soon.